been a hot minute, hasn't it? Yeah, I bet it has. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> New episode of Invincible just came out. No, 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 no. Don't play it. Don't play it. I'm not ready yet. Uh, but... I mean, well, it came out yesterday, but it didn't pop up on, for me until today, pretty much. Um, apparently that's the last episode. I really... For me, okay, look. Here's what I'm... Here's what I'm... Uh, I have to say about all of this, right? So, first of all, episode 6 is... Eh? It, it, I liked the beginning. That's the only part I liked of, of Invincible Season 2, Episode 6. The beginning part was really good. I think the whole talking and stuff, I didn't have too much of a problem with it. Um, it was alright. It was basically just um, establishing character dynamics and stuff like that, right? It was just trying to go back to normal kind of everything and episode seven of season two um i liked a lot better than episode six i think episode five was real strong i think episode six was all right it was okay um and it it, it uh concluded it concluded stuff. I think episode 6 did conclude stuff. So never mind. There was that part where it did finish up the ending of both sides. Whatever. Um, the, the second half part is what I'm talking about and focusing on the most. That was a lot of downtime. Episode 7 was strong all the way through. I think it was great. And I haven't seen episode 8 yet. But I think overall... Season 2... Of Invincible, although it doesn't have the highs that season one had, although it has been a long time since I've seen season one, which came out, I don't even remember, 2021? And I, I barely remember everything, and I've seen it, I've watched it all the way through twice. Um, yeah, so far I think season two is fantastic. I think it's, it's an amazing season, um... I think only maybe like one or two, like maybe one episode wasn't that good, but I'd have to rewatch season one and season two at this point so I can re... I feel like that's the best way to watch it at this point. Um, after I finish the old, the eighth episode, because I really do feel like there's so much that happened in this season. That it feel it's been it feels like it's been forever. It feels like it, like I, I it's hard to explain, but yeah. So that's pretty cool. I'm not that sick now, like it was on Sunday and Friday, Saturday and Monday. But I feel a lot better now. Um, I'd say go watch Invincible season two. I'm trying to think, uh, if there's anything else. Um, oh, the, the pilot for, not pilot, but the first episode of season two of Smiling Friends was also pretty funny. <laughs> it's worth checking out if you can find it on the internet or find a way of watching it. Um, I think maybe you can watch it on, on Adult Swim's website. Um, so, yeah. Check that out as well. That's also really good. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Uh, so where did we leave off on Sam and Max? Because it has been... It has been a hot minute. Catherine? How's it going? Hiya. Hi. Catherine. Friends? Yeah, Catherine. Friends? Um... We've only gone no, out together three times. No, shut up, 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 shut up. F5. Mode. Wait, where was I?
But I, I'm on Bumpus. Yeah, Catherine was a good game. All right, so this is where we la left off. We we're in Bumpusville. It is, the game is loud. This game is loud. Turn it down. There we go. Okay. I probably should turn it down on my end too because I have it as kind of loud here. Okay, is this a good volume? Is this a solid volume? I think it might be. But I could be wrong. Yeah, it seems alright. Okay. Alright. You have anything to look at? Bumpersville. Bumpersville. Is that Johnny Bravo? Have you ever seen Johnny Bravo meets Scooby-Doo? I think that might be the only thing I've ever watched of Johnny Bravo because I didn't grow it wasn't on. A wishing well. I but wish I we had owned uh power to decide who lives and who dies. I think we'd need a bigger well. I think we need a bigger well. Uh, I I liked how um <laughs> they they made some good jokes in there. Uh I don't I, the only reason I even saw that was because my my dad had a bootleg of it. Um <laughs> that's the first time I saw Johnny Bravo. Oh yeah, and then um Scooby Doo meets Batman. That was another weird one that I also saw at some point. Um, being the killer was very funny. Spoilers! I just liked how um was it Daphne or was it Velma that like Johnny Brown was like, whoa, mama. Cripes. Hey, Max, take a look at this. It's titled Me, Myself, and I. Hey, you learned how to read. <laughs> Hi. Hello, robot. It's a macro hard maintenance droid. Not the nerd one? Okay. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right. Thought maybe he was a he was a Velma simp. Oh, what the hell? Bulls. Yeah, I, I can tell. I can tell this guy's a country singer. Wow, it's Monster Truck Weekend. Happening every Sunday. 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 Okay, I'm over. Sunday, Sunday, now. Sunday. I'm not, but I'm sure my gentle naivete will survive. <laughs> I I actually went to a monster truck thing like ages ago. It was very very cold out. It's one of Conroy's toupees. Conroy's toupees. Yeah, it was very cold out. My dad took me to it, and um, it was so freezing cold out. My dad had to go out of his way because I was so I was literally cold. It wasn't cold when we f were first there, um, but it was. I'm not even joking. It was like. 20 degrees or something. We had to walk to the car. My dad gave me his leather jacket while he, he had to sit there in the freezing cold. Or I, it was either that or he had to carry me. Um, and like, so we were both like huddled up in the jacket. And uh, I just remember that sucked. But on top of that, uh, there was also like a, a horde of bats flying around us as well. On top of that. Very strange night. Um, but it was, I, I, I vaguely remember thinking it was pretty cool. Whoa! We're up here now. Hey, Max. Oh, no, 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 wait, no, wait. I want to stay up there. I have a feeling that there's going to be something I can grab up here. Let me look around and see if I can grab anything. Using my, my groper hand. Yes! Pillow. Look at that. I knew it. I knew something was going to happen. I got to start, like, having that hand out more. Are you going to jump? Don't do it. It's not worth it. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. Okay, if you say so. Wait. I don't want to strain myself. Okay, jeez. Wait. Does that mean you gotta use something to grab it? Looks it? like an official macro hard maintenance droid manual. If I had the slightest inclination to strain myself, I could probably reach it. However, I'm sure I can drag this out into a longer yet more satisfying experience. No! <laughs> The heck? Okay, fine. Use the... Use Max. Max, I can't it. use these things together. Fine. Why is he looking at me like that? What's your problem, Max? 
I see dead people. What you doing? Hang back, buddy, and observe my magic. Yeah! Come on. Nice. Go get him, little buddy. <laughs> it seems like Max is dead. Oops. <laughs> seems like he has no interest. I I'm sure I'm sure Max is okay, right? A book w surely a book would not kill Max. 15 hours later. He just left Max laying there Find for 15 hours. Maybe he didn't even I move. Got a lost but... in the troubleshooting chapter. Got lost in the troubleshooting chapter. <laughs> the first page. <laughs> Give, grab the toupee. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. What in the name of Jethro Clamp is going on in her? Nothing. Hey, that hurts. Knock it off. And stay out. I shouldn't have grabbed the toupee. I don't think that was the best way to get the toupee, Sam. Okay, we, we use robot. All right, we'll use the robot. Robot Sama. The end. All right, robot. Um. So let's walk over here. We got to get to toupee, I guess. For some reason. Because it's cartoon. I gotta use cartoon magic brain. So let me use cartoon magic brain. And I'm going to strangle the, the bot. Or I use book on bot. And then just smack the... I don't even actually use the manual for its intended purpose. I actually just use it to literally like hit the robot. That's the plan. I can't use these things together. Well, it was, it was an idea, all right. Don't look at me like that. All right, come on. Come on, Max. Where's that darn robot at? There it is. All right, smack it. I can't use these things together. I, I can't use these things together. Okay, grab the robot. Grab the robot. Grab, kill robot. Oops, too late. Wait, what? I have to wait until... Huh. Okay. I'll wait. I have, to, I have to wait. I have to do very specific timing, apparently. To grab Robot and then force Robot to hit the toupee with the... Bunny... Whatever you call it. Max, get out of here. Max, you're in the way. Go. There you go. Go, go up there or something. Go. Maybe if I give him like a fidget toy, he'll play with it. Come on, Max. He does seem like one of those, uh, types of people who need like some kind of stimmy toy. I guess I'll wait. Either that or I can just grab it before it goes. Maybe I can leave the room. Maybe I'm supposed to leave the room and then grab it. Let's try that again. So if I leave the room- There you are, you little shit. Now that I've read that ponderous manual, I can move the robot around like this. Hello there, robot. I'm impressed. That's nothing. Watch this. Or squash it like a bug. That was gratuitous. Sorry. This might be more useful. All right. Oh. Wait. Ah. Go in the hair. Okay, I've messed with the brain meat. Alright, now what? 
Go. Go, little buddy. Alright, go. No, you're supposed to go into here. There you go. Go in there. Alright, what's in here? Check out this cool uh, robot. Isn't it pretty neat? Hey! Visitors ain't allowed to use Mr. Bumpus' state-of-the-art virtual reality equipment. Scram! Oh, okay. Uh, can I... Let me interact... Don't touch that! Oh, okay. Can I... I don't indiscriminately use people, except Max. Can I... Can I book? No. Uh, hi. Don't I know you? I don't know. You ever in the Pensacola camp for problem children? No. Well, that's where I spent most of the last 10 years, so I don't see how we could have met. Oh, okay. Makes sense. What's the robot? Oh, what's all this virtual reality equipment oh, virtual for? Reality. The way I understand it, Mr. Bumpus uses a sophisticated virtual reality It probably just gets on, like, VR chat and, like, dresses system. up as a furry. The devil, you say. stares at himself the through devil. a the devil. mirror all day. Yeah, sometimes Mr. Bumpus lets me use the equipment. I pretend I'm over 100 feet tall and everyone else is like ants and I just squish, 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 squish. We get the picture. You sure are one dedicated employee. Yep, that's me. Detonated. Detonated. Well, we'll be looking around ourselves. Don't get up. Fine. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So, what's this Conroy Bumpus Yahoo really like? Has he got any deep, dark secrets we can exploit for monetary gain? Hey, good, don't good be questions. no aspirations toward Mr. Bumpus. He busted me out of the youth camp, gave me this high-paying 475 an hour job, taught me Damn. how to speak Swahili, found a baboon's heart for my sister's transplant operation, and he sings real pretty, too. Four dollars, fifty cents, huh? How can you stand to work for someone who persecutes harmless beasts like Bruno the Bigfoot? Uh, on my feet? He's got you there, Sam. <laughs> Don't you have any misgivings about hunting harmless freaks like Trixie? I did, but then I took a couple of aspirin. Good one. Ah, skip it. Ah, skip it. Well, let's get out of here, Max. It seems that we don't belong. Alright, now what? So we had this room. There's the toupee that I don't know what the point of the toupee is yet, but it seems like I could pick it up. Uh... I can't do anything with it while it's moving. Well, I'm not... I don't want to... I'm just looking, okay? Let me see, is there anything I can grab, like this raccoon? I do like a, a fine raccoon. It's a portrait of John Muir. Oh. Say, Sam, just who is John Muir? Who's John Muir? Oh, it talks! Hey, guys, this dope doesn't know who John Muir is. You gotta be kidding! What a maroon! He's having what a schizophrenic a episode. Poop. Sam, the dead animal heads are talking to me. Where? Up there. Well? But... You really shouldn't tell fibs about dead animals, Max. But... Stop bugging me. He's just like I'm me for real, for real. John Muir. But who's John Muir? This, this fella really doesn't know who, who he is. If you'll stop talking, sure. Okay. Hit it, boys. There once was a man named John Muir. A naturalist, noble and pure. His love for all beasties. The most and the least. Entertainment! Has never been equaled. <laughs> uh... For sure! That's super interesting, thanks. Can I grab the beard? Alright, uh... Can I chat it up with, uh... The, the lights. Here, look at these. Cripes, look at all the trophies. I think this bumpus goon is overcompensating for his lack of stature, Sam. <laughs> Besides, I've got a lot more trophies than he does. Shite. Look, they're paintings of trophies. Nice. 
genuine imitation American style chest. Not intended for any kind of use. A great addition for your genuine imitation American collection. Home shopping. Definitely. This is Conroy's first guitar. It says here that he practiced diligently for two weeks, then gave it up and hired a backup band. That story warms the cockles of my heart. So do car crashes. Well, that was fun. All right, let me go to this room. Bumpus Mill is proud to present. Oh, there the they are. Master of Melody, the king of country. Mr. Entertainment, Conroy Bumpus. I hate floor shows. I remember my childhood in Brighton When dear old dad would bounce me on his knee He'd say, son, there ain't nothing as exciting As exposing beasts to inhumanity That's why Happy to be king of the creatures. I'm proud to be the Lord. He's lip singing. Of the He's lip singing. I love collecting things with grotesque features. It makes me feel like some Chaldean god. Oh, I trapped my first tiger before I could speak. Killed me a bear when I was free. And now with this Bigfoot and giraffe neck freak, I finally have a full menagerie. Hit it, boys! That's why Western Star. Thank you, thank you. Your attention, please. Conroy Bubbis has left the building. Okay. Um, I've known, uh, somebody who, uh, had a lot of deer heads, like taxidermized deer it's heads. It's Bruno and Trixie. Oh, hey, guys. Hey, Trixie. <laughs> hey, Bruno. Hi, Bruno. <laughs> oh, sorry. Well... Looks like there's some kind of light light beam here. He's not my type. Uh, what happens if I walk in the laser? Nothing. Wait, what is this? This is a completely unusable thingamabob. Oh. Okay. Those aren't animatronics. No, that's uh, Trixie and Bruno, clearly. He went. Rrr. So, not animatronic. I'm guessing if we step on these lasers. Uh -oh. They throw us out. Knock it off. Help! Help! Aye. Ow. And stay out. And stay out. Maybe we shouldn't hit the laser. Alright, well, anyways. Again, again! I'm guessing, let's try getting the, uh, robot. Where's- you know what I'm thinking? We need the toupee. We need that darn toupee. Where's that darn... Where's the robot at? There you are. He's 
is not my type. No, no. You need to no activate the Max. You're in the way. Get out of the way, Max. Follow me, you Spielbergian robot. Spielbergian robot. Let's try this again. All right. We definitely want there and there. Okay. Let's try this. I'm guessing I don't want them to go into those rooms. Just these two, right? I don't think the cute little robot wants to follow its new programming, Sam. I don't recall giving it a cute little choice. <laughs> there he goes. I'm ripe with anticipation. I thought I smelled something. What the? Al Pavlovian. And you should know. Okay. So what, should we try going inside the, the VR room first? Let's try going inside the VR room first. Whoa. This is virtual Whoa. reality? I may be sick. Virtual reality? Grab the sword. Nice! Oh god. It's a beast. Didn't save the princess. What are you two doing here? Leaving. I didn't save the princess. Where's the robot? There's the robot. All right, come here, little buddy. Follow me, you Spielbergian robot. I'm gonna try to Let's steal. Let's try this again. Alright, let's try this again. Get along, little robot. Activate it. What the? What the? He's not getting any smarter, is he? <laughs> Steal that that hair. All right, let's grab it. Uh -oh. I should have known. No, hey, that hurts. Knock it off. And stay out. Am I supposed to actually beat the princess? Am I actually am I actually supposed to win in the virtual game? I think we have to avoid tripping the alarm, Sam. Okay. I think I can do that. So no stealing two pays. Got it. It's that darn robot app. Sorry, guys, this exhibit's temporarily closed due to, uh, technical difficulties. Please exit the room. No problem. Wait. Is there a way I can shut off the alarms? Is that possible? Let me see. There must be something here, right? Uh, 
Um, doesn't look like there's anything here. Other than the virtual reality helmet. So let's see if we can beat this. Let's try this again. I still don't see what all the fuss is about. Grab the sword. Poor, poor Max. He's dying. Okay. Alright, here we go. No! Okay, wait, what if I tried talking to it? Well? Have you ever seen the inside of a dragon's large intestine? No. You weren't fooling with that BR stuff, were you? Heaven no. forbid. Good. Now get out. Dang it. Alright. Don't look at me like that. Max Rooney. Max Tony Phil. Wonder. Can I? I can talk to this. Howdy, partners. I'm Conroy Bumpus, and welcome to Bumpusville. Feel free to wander the mansion, but for Pete's sake, don't touch anything. Howdy, partners. I'm Conroy Bumpus, and welcome to Bumpusville. Feel free to wander the mansion, but for Pete. Howdy, part. Howdy. 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 I can't Where? do anything. Follow me, you Spielbergian robot. Alright, we're gonna do it right. We're gonna do it right this time. Here we go. Let's try this again. This time I'm gonna try to speak to the to the beast. Alright, go get him, little buddy. Get along, little robot. Little robot. Yay! Cause more problems. <gasps> Chaos ensues. I nerd. He's not getting any smarter, is he? What the? What the? All right, let's go. Let's try this again. This time I will not use the sword. I still don't sword. see what all the fuss is about. Get, get him. I don't think he wants to talk. What? Well? Maybe I should have tried to kill the dragon. You're lucky I'm not the suspicious type, or I think you two are up to something. Us? We're as innocent as church lice. Fine, now leave. I don't know about you, Max, but... I'm getting a little suspicious of... I need to sneeze. Robot! Obey me. Follow me, you Spielbergian robot. Let's try this again. Here. Go. Get along, little robot. Go along, little robot. What the? He's walking pretty funny. He's not getting any smarter, is he? Right. Maybe I should have Max. This is a there. completely unusable thingamabob. 
I wonder if I could have Max do it. Let me see. Alright, let's try using Max. Max. It's my little buddy. Alright, little buddy, get in there. I can't use these things together. Oh shit. Okay. Guess you gotta do it again. It's my only option, as far as I'm aware. He's doing it! I still it. don't see what all the fuss is about. If I try to use well, the sword, it doesn't do anything. Maybe I should have used that sword. Well, I can't kill Lee, the dragon, now. can I? Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? Instead of doing this over and over and over again, how about I do like a save state? So I don't have to do this every single time. That might actually be a good idea. Might be the first good idea I've ever had. Follow me, you Spielbergian robot. So I'm gonna do a save, and then we're just gonna keep doing different. Let's try types this again and see what what I'm doing wrong here, because I have no idea. Go in there. Get along, little robot. Get along there, little robot. I need to stop using like actual logic. So he's not getting any smarter, is he? Let me. I gotta use cartoon. I gotta think like a cartoon character, right? I gotta think like I'm I'm a cartoon character with schizophrenia. Okay. Okay. Save. Bumpus VR. Okay, here we go. Again, again. I still don't see what all the fuss is about. This is funny. Move hand, then walk. Okay. I still don't see what all the fuss is about. Still don't see what all the fuss is about. Maybe I should look at the dragon. That's a pretty crappy looking dragon. What? He just eats you. Okay. Maybe I can do a save while I'm inside the VR. Come on, Sam. I still don't see what all the fuss is about. Okay. Bumpus VR. Okay. Grab. Sword. Pull sword. Yonder lies the castle of my father, the king. The king. Okay, so walking anywhere causes you to die immediately. Okay. I'm learning. If I click on him, nothing happens. So, what happens if I don't do anything at all? 
He eats you. Okay. Am I do supposed to do very specific timing? Damn it. Okay, so there's there's like a, a small little if you t click it at the exact time your character is swinging Okay, I have to time it So if I time it just right What now it does it? Well, I am the key master. Does that come with a dental plan? Yep. I don't know what you two critters are up to, but I want you out of here now. Haha. <laughs> Looks like I just got the key. And I didn't even have to pull up a walkthrough. Okay. Use key on this. circus with you I'm feeling a little morally conflicted about taking Bruno back to the circus I'm not let's go you big lug <laughs> stay away from him you malefactor I'm not a malefactor I'm a lagomorph look I'm not going back to the circus and I'm waiting for a party oh yeah the Bigfoot party where is it it's at Evelyn Morrison Savage Jungle in, in picturesque half-life Nevada Bigfoots and their dates only only. She kept the hat. Let's go. Wow. Thank you for giving me the address. Savage Jungle Inn. This place is tiki rific tiki rific Yeah, I feel immersed in native culture. I just hope this place has authentic savage tiki drinks with that authentic tiki tang. It's a miniature mighty volcano lending authenticity to this jungle motif. Looks like a gopher mound. Savage Jungle Inn. Stop that. Cut that out. That's a particularly big Bigfoot. Hi. What's up in there? Big time Bigfoot party. Oh. Sounds like some kind of shindig. It's the event of the century. Oh. How's the band? Pretty happy as far as I can tell. She looks familiar. Hi. Hey, aren't you Evelyn Morrison, famed B-movie star? Yes, I am she. I've seen all your movies. My favorite was Robot Terror from Beyond the Galaxy. 
Is that the one where the alien says, Clam do Beretta Nimno? No, that's Vampirus in prison. Oh, yeah. Would you like Evelyn Morrison's autograph? Actually, we just want to ask a few questions. Evelyn Morrison is always available for interviews. Lovely. Have you had any problems with the Bigfoots? Evelyn Morrison has always worked well with grotesque creatures of the night. I'll take that as a no, then. Okay. You haven't seen a short, self-absorbed, crazy-as-a-bedbug country western singing star around here, have you? If you mean Conroy Bumpus, Evelyn Morrison had him ejected from the premises hours ago. Why? He was harassing Evelyn Morrison's guests. Makes sense. Action! I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. Corman. Classic. I have the sudden craving for an umbrella drink. Evelyn Morrison's Jungling has the greatest umbrella drinks in the world, with over 237 kinds of rum. That's a lot of rum. All in just one drink? Which way to the bar? Take it easy, Max. You don't even drink. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The toucan must have put words into my mouth. Max, you don't even like girls. Oh, yeah. I'll get back to you later. Evelyn Morrison will be here. In the meantime, why not take some of these brochures? They have Evelyn Morrison's autograph on them, making them must have collectible. Thanks. Oh, thanks. Wait, where, where are they? Look at that depressed gecko. Stop. What is he doing? Cut that out. Max, cut that out right now. All right, get him. I don't think he'd want that. Don't be silly. I can't use these things together. I wonder if this bird talks. Maybe it'll give us an important clue. Nah, that'd be stupid. You can, Sam. Don't be silly. I remember seeing this movie in theaters when I was a pup. During the climactic scene, they dropped giant rubber snakes on the audience. Why don't they make movies like that anymore? Higher standards? Probably. A stunning portrait of John Muir, famous naturalist. Hmm. I hate it when you hum, Sam. It sounds like a high voltage tower. These are pamphlets for the Mount Rushmore Dinosaur Tar Pit in Bungee Jumping National Park in North Dakota. And some place called the Celebrity Vegetable Museum in Goat Liver, Texas. Whoa! I think I like the humming better. Looks like we got places to go, Max. Because I doubt we can just walk in. Stop. What's up? Only Sasquatches and their dates are allowed on the convention floor. Okay. You say so. Looks like we got a... Skedaddle skedoodle. Let's go to Tomato Town. Celebrity Vegetable Museum. What detail? See the carrot leaning out of the book depository? Never mind that. What about the string beans behind the fence on the grassy knoll? <laughs> what the hell is this place? This... This is scary. Your likeness from Pic. Your likeness from Picture. Uh, what hi. the holy mother of Gord is this? Oh, isn't it obvious? I grow vegetables in the shapes of famous celebrities. For a small fee, I'll grow a vegetable from a photograph. Oh, that would have been my second guess. Ah. Uh, I grow more fascinated by the moment. So what's the biggest thing in vegetable celebrities right now? 
I can't believe I lived long enough to hear you say that, Sam. <laughs> you may not believe this, Sonny, but the biggest thing right now is miniaturization. No, 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 no. don't tell CEOs, don't tell companies about that. Hey. Uh. I know, I know, it seems impossible. All we are saying is give peace a chance. <laughs> so what do you know about Bigfoots? Well, they don't translate well into vegetables. I have been experimenting with the idea for a while. There's just no such thing as a furry vegetable. Check out our fridge. Actually, uh, have you heard of a kiwi? What prompted that batch of Conroy heads over there? Well, oh wait, that's not a, that's not a vegetable. That's a fruit. My more distinguished personalities when I realized it was no good. Oops. Now it won't stop. They just keep growing like that. Big misshapen growths on top. Reminded me of Conroy Bumpus, so I ran a special. Well, bye. Bye. I can't believe Harrison actually agreed to this. It is a stunning likeness, though. It's amazing what they can do with mushrooms. Remaindered Conroy Bumpus eggplants. I guess his 15 minutes of fame are about up. Ooh. The wig! Wait. It's an eggplant that looks somewhat like Conroy Bumpus. You think if we got the wig, it could look like... <sighs> no. It was just an idea, but... I don't think that'll work. I can't pick that up. No, just go this way. Is there seriously nothing else here? I guess there's nothing else here except for the... What's going on? Whoa! Push button to hear Rex speak. Okay. Hi, my name is Rex, the Thunder Lizard. During the late Jurassic period, I was king of the dinosaurs. As you can see, my tiny forearms are quite useless. But I more than make up for it with my powerful tail, my muscular legs, and my savage razor sharp teeth. Some people make fun of me because I've got a brain the size of a walnut. But they usually stop making fun of me after I eat them. Hi, my name is Rex. The fu- Uh... Hi, I'm Wally the Wooly Mammoth. I may be extinct now, but during the ice age, I was king gear. of the mammals. Hi, I'm Wally the Wooly Mammoth. I'm Wally the Wooly Mammoth. I may be extinct now. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. Push button to hear Wally speak. Don't do it. Don't do it. Not worth it. Tar pit. This place evokes a sense of wonder. You have to wonder. This line's not moving very quickly. The same thing could be said about the plot. That's not funny, Max. It's, it's not a line moving. of cheery children. It's it, it, the plot. <laughs> Must be this tall. Looks like this elevator will take us up into Washington's nose. Are you tall enough, Max? Why, hello there. No, 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 He's wait. not my type. Are you in charge here? 
Yes, I'm an Olympic bungee jumper and I know everything there is to know about bungee jumping. Olympic bungee jumping? Well, she sounds sure. What do I do? The principles are important to master. Get a safety harness from behind that little screen over there. Once that's on, it's important that you jump from the board toward the pit of tar below. But I'm sure a great big hunk of fur like yourself would have no problem. Yeah, sounds easy. She's not Looks my type. Dangerous. Yeah. Hey, that furry pig thing is still down there. That's the beauty of this tar. It's always at the right consistency and temperature. It could be days before you sink too low for us to find you. I'm convinced. Let's go, Flyboy. Hold on. My nose is running. Whose isn't? Yeah. Bye. So long, cutie. Cutie. Oh. Quit that. So, what do you think? It fits you just fine. Ooh, stand back. She may pounce. It's a danger I face every day. So, Max, what do you think? It's a VTuber. A regular 007. Are you sure? Clint baby would be nervous. But get moving. I'm beginning to think you're stalling. Clint. Baby. Who's stalling? I'm just waiting for my buddy to come here and check out this spectacular view. Pick up the tar first. I better pick up the tar first. I better pick up the tar first. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. Wait. That won't work. What? Why can't I use the... I need to pick up tar. With what? Uh... Huh! Okay. The cup. We use the cup. I know, I know, I know what I need to do. It's a large dirt. Use it. No! <sighs> hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Again, again, again. Okay. Let's go, little buddy. Like some tar. got tar. I don't know what we need it for, but we have tar now. She must be the instructor on duty. She's not my type. No, I I was wondering what this was, but okay. Bye. Okay. Um... 
It's 91 yards of twine. I can't use these things. I can't pick that up. There we go. That's a weird looking bug. Hmm. So we have the two things. I think we need the toupee. Right? an idea. Right. I don't think this will work, but I can give it a shot. He changed this, his outfit to be brown. Uh-oh. Stay out. Well, at least we got it. It's Conroy's toupee. These are pamphlets for the Mount Rushmore Dinosaur Tar Pit and Bungee Jumping National Park, and some place called the Celebrity Vegetable Museum. Okay. I can't use these things together. Okay, I've attached Conroy Bumpus toupee to the Stiltwalker's costume. Okay. I can't use these things. I can't use these. I can't use these. It's 91 yards. I can't use these. No. I can't use these. I can't use these. I can't use these. Now the costume is covered with tar. I can't use these. Hmm. I can't use these. We have to get hair. Right? What if... We go back to the rock? And go back to that rock? gone. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. Mm. What if I'm supposed to put it on and I need to run into this is my this is my idea, right? I need to I need to rub against one of the tar creatures, right? Just an idea. I don't know if this will work. Just an idea. Quit that.
Okay. I don't think this is the time or place. I can't use these things together. Okay. I don't indiscriminately use people, except Max. Huh? No, I want to leave. I can't use these things together. Well, it was worth trying. Um... I have any leads. Think. Let me. Okay. Let me try that idea. Um, maybe I can use it on when I'm in like the part where they're bungee jumping. Maybe I can do something with it there. Either that or the outfit works or it should work. When I'm there, even though I'm not covered in fur. Um, let me try that. Let's see. There's, there's nothing else for us here. Okay. I don't indiscriminately use people, except Max. No, walk over here. Okay. I don't remember where else it could go for a hair, like just hair in general. I don't, I don't remember where else it could even go. Uh... Because I can't use twine on it. Yeah. 
It's an empty snow globe without a stopper. I can't... It's a rasp. What am I supposed to do with the rasp? It's a pillow. And yeah, it's got miracle Grow hair tonic all over it. miracle Grow hair tonic. I can't use these things together. I can't use these things together. Hmm. I can't use these things together. Uh. It's a pillow with hair tonic all over it. So I need to use the hair tonic on something. What can I use the hair tonic on? So I can grow its hair. Um. It says, Close enough for jazz. Let's go. I don't think he'd want that. I can't use these things together. Uh, Potty want... Uh, a rasp? I can't use these things together. Wait. It's Max. Yeah, but what is he poking at? I can't pick that up. I must have missed something at some point. But... I don't know what. Uh... time because I have no idea all right all right all right this game came out in 2000 I don't know 1999 I think or something carnival let's see
Oh, huh. Okay. There's something here that I can do. But I think this will complete what we need to do. Just an, uh, apparently. That's a good idea, but there's nothing for the twine to catch on. I can't talk. Hi, my name is. Ra Hi, my. I can't use these things together. Hi, my name is Rex. Maybe if the jaw was angled better. Say ah. Uh. Hi, my name is Rex, the Thunder Lizard. During the late. I can't. I can't get him to to stop talk. What? Wait. Okay. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hi, my. I tried- I tried clicking on the, the icon. Okay, so apparently I need to get Max to do this. So you are- are supposed to get the woolly- woolly mammoth hair, but you're supposed to sick Max onto this. Hey, Max. Hey, what? I've got a job for those mighty incisors of yours. What? See that woolly mammoth? What about it? What about it? Stop playing dumb and get chomping. We don't want to animate it. Fine work, Max. Now we've got more full woolly mammoth hair than we'll ever need, and we've learned an important lesson. Yeah, the woolly mammoths died of embarrassment. Cool. Now we've got a stilt walker's costume covered with tar and full woolly mammoth hair. Cool. But we still need to... Activate the robot. Hi, my name is Rex, the Thunder Lizard. Yeah, if I try to do anything. Hi, my name is Rex, the Thunder Lizard. During the late Jurassic period, I was king of the dinosaurs. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. Wait, hold on. Hi. Maybe if the jaw was angled better. Say, I can't use these things together. Maybe if, if I could actually use it. Hi, my name is Rex, the Thunder Lizard. During the late... There we go. I had to hit I for me to do this. Got enough leverage from here to pull out a tooth. Wait, what? I can't take it anywhere. I can't take it anywhere. I haven't got enough leverage from here to pull out a tooth. It's my little butt. <laughs> we 
finally got the tooth. The whole tooth? Nothing but. Ah. Uh. Ah. Huh. I can't use these things together. I can't use these things together. I can't use the. I can't use these. It's a Stiltwalker's costume covered with tar, faux woolly mammoth hair, and a toupee. You think this will be enough? Let's see. I guess we could try it on. Hey, that's a downright nice Sasquatch costume. If I was in any way inclined to be nice to you fellas, I'd reward your ingenuity by letting you in. So we have to go somewhere to... Put it on. Let me try... Over here. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with the tooth. But... Let's try up here. Can I try it's putting walkers? Can I try putting this on here? I don't think this is the time or place. Uh, okay. Grr. Next, you've got to help me out here, right? Let me use the internet. Okay. So this is another thing I gotta do. I guess. Is go here, go to Vegetable Island. What do you make of this? Famed naturalist John Muir. <laughs> This looks like a zucchini squash to me. I can do this, but it'll take a short while. So, how did you get started in this line of work? Oh, I'm a natural. My mother's an artist, my father's a farmer, and my great-grandfather was a village idiot. It's in my blood. I see. I see. What about Sasquatches? What about them? Oh. Well, bye. Bye. Okay. Use the woolly costume. The Bigfoot will let you pass.
Wait, what? It didn't, but it didn't work before. Unless that literally, I thought that was him being sarcastic saying, so, um, if I wasn't an idiot, I would let you, th you know, if I was an idiot, I'd let you through or something. Stop. What's up? Only Sasquatches and their dates are allowed on the convention floor. Well, I... I guess we could try it on. Hey, that's a downright nice Sasquatch costume. If I was in any way inclined to be nice to you fellas, I'd reward your ingenuity by letting you in. Stop. What's up? It doesn't Only work. Only Sasquatches and their dates are allowed on the convention floor. Thanks, uh, walkthrough. It says here, enter the savage inn. Give rasp. Oh, give the rasp to the Bigfoot. Oh, I have to give a... What? Here. never thought of this. I- I would have never thought... I would have never thought to- to do I this. I guess we could try it on. I- I don't... Hmm... Hey, that's a downright nice Sasquatch costume. I'll let you guys in with that one. Thanks. Looks like something important's happening. Hundreds of years ago, it was becoming apparent that our time was running out. Yet we were slow to heed the warnings of impending doom. The seemingly slow encroachment of mankind and all that his many living styles entail seemed like a vague and distant problem. A problem for future generations of Yeti to solve. Blithely, we sat back, ignoring our own inner call for action. Tradition and the status quo were our excuses for complacency. The certainty of not just losing our way of life, but possibly our very lives. And the demise of our entire race is now becoming a reality. A reality we can no longer choose to ignore. As it turns out, the humans and their technology are moving faster than we are, much faster than we had anticipated. And so, we now face the final crisis. Unless we pull together, not just acknowledging the need for change, but embracing change not just with our hearts and our minds, but with our actions, we will fall behind, moving backward into extinction. Well, back to the music. That was a little depressing. One does not cut in on a Bigfoot. Excuse me, sir. Yes? Has Bruno shown up yet? Keep your voice down. Bruno's involved in a top-secret reconnaissance mission to the alien's home planet. Of course. How silly of me to forget. Have you seen Bruno's girlfriend anywhere? Shh. She's helping Bruno contact the aliens. Oh. Yeah. You haven't run into Conroy Bumpus, have you? No, but I know how to deal with him. He has a near-fatal vulnerability to ice, like all beings from the evil planet Snarkton. We'll keep that in mind. All right, so you're a nut you're job. You're the skinniest Bigfoot I've ever seen. I've been fasting in preparation for the day when the aliens come to rescue us. Aren't you the abominable, lady of a bubble, Arborania? Never mind. I felt that. We'll catch you later. Figure of speech. Hey, 
Hey, baby, what's your sign? Property of Vanuatu. Vanuahu? Vanuatu. The Bigfoot chief. The guy who just gave that speech. My husband. Mm. Don't sweat it, Junior. If I had a tree for every time a teenage Bigfoot's made a drunken pass at me, we surely wouldn't be in the mess we're in today. Not really. Have you seen Bruno? Bruno? Why, me and Mr. V have known little Bruno since he was knee-high to a pig. Salt of the earth, Bruno is. Nicest, most generous Bigfoot you'll ever meet. Dumb as a post, of course, but generous. Why, just the other day, I was talking to my manicurist, Kimmy, and I said, uh -oh. Kimmy, that Bruno has got to be the dumbest creature uh -oh. to ever walk the surface of the planet. Then she had the nerve to say, Oogly, oogly, oogly. Blah, blah, blah. Yada, yada, yada. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Bow, bow, bow. Bow, bow. Wobbler, wobbler. Oogly, oogly, oogly. Bow, bow, bow. Have you seen Trixie around here? Trixie? Nice girl. Wonderful human being. Complete fashion victim, of course, but so pleasant. Just last week, I was no, talking no, to no, Katie, no, 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 I'd say he's the most gifted entertainer of the 20th century. He's an immoral cretin, of course, but boy, can he sing. I was, I was showing talking Kate. to my chiropractor, Karen, just last month, and I said, Karen, that despicable Conroy Bumpus sure has got a pretty voice. So she said... It must be a hoot being married to our commander-in-chief. Oh, it's not that great. Sure, you get to travel, but sometimes you get so lonely. Why, just yesterday, I was no. seeing my therapist, no. Nancy. Nancy, sometimes it's so lonely at the top. So she's... Gee, your hair smells terrific. You should talk to my hair care specialist, Janet. She does marvelous work. Why, just last autumn, she was soaking my head and I said, Janet, you're just about the best hair care specialist I've ever known. Then she had... Adieu. Don't be a stranger. Hey, what's up? So, fellow smelly woodland creature, where have you been hiding for the past few years? Hiding? Dude, I've spent the last eight years manacled to a dunking boot. If Bruno and his girlfriend hadn't rescued me, I'd still be there. Oh. Have you seen Bruno around? I haven't seen the dude since he rescued me. I oh. hear he's hiding out from a crazy bear and bunny who want to drag him off to an evil carnival. Bear? What was that? Gas. Have you heard from Trixie? I guess she's hiding out with Bruno. Have you seen Conroy Bumpus around here? Is he the guy that coined the phrase, Hang Ten? No, he's a country western star going berserk. Ooh, heinous. That's what I was saying. Your appetite's bigger than mine. Hey man, if you'd spent the past eight years on a bread and water diet, you'd be scarfing down everything in sight too, dude. Dude. Bro. You know who else scarfs down all of his food? Your appetite's bigger than mine. Hey man, if you'd spent the past eight years on a bread and water diet, you'd be scarfing down everything in sight too, dude. So where are all the bodacious Bigfoot babes? Take it easy, Max. You don't even like girls. I uh, don't. There it is. Dude, are you like having an argument with your belly button? Uh... I don't? No. Max, you don't even Why like don't you girls. get back to your food? Mahalo, dude. Mahalo, dude. So true, so true. I grab Joey. He's not my type. No, the jelly. <laughs> huh? 
I wonder if they'll play Yellow River. I don't indiscriminately use people, no. except Max. Here, walk over here. Okay, no. Ah! Is there anything to grab here? What the hell is this? It's an ice pick. An ice pick? Go in there. It's a freezer. Get in there. No, go, go in there. Sure is a scrawny feller. A big foot in the hand is worth two in the bush, Lee Harvey. Uh, sorry, boss. Think nothing of it, old chap. Now, be a good lad and pop off to the bus and get the next. Yes, sir, Mr. Bumpus. Now there's a chance. Um. I can't use these things together. Oh, wait. There's something you should know, Bumpus. You again? I left the net back in Bumpusville. Forget the net. We're gonna disguise ourselves as a Bigfoot. Why? So we can infiltrate their ranks, learn their ways, and pick them off at our leisure. Oh. And no funny stuff, dog boy. Yeah. How come I always have to be the tail? Hey, Max, why don't you make yourself useful? That was fun. Now future generations will be able to enjoy his atonal warblings. Are there any more shrimp balls back here? Who, who are you? We're the freelance police. We just saved your collective hash. Really? Then I guess it'd be okay to make you honorary Yeti chiefs. Walk this way. Okay. Can I have your attention, please? Although it's our tradition to allow only Bigfoots and their dates to these gatherings, these two have shown themselves worthy of our gratitude and our trust. These are a naive people. And so I'm granting them the title of Honorary Bigfoot Chief. So don't mess with them. That's it? Honorary Bigfoot Chief? Where's the cash? We don't want Bigfoot money, Max. It's probably made of tree bark or something. I know, but it's the principle of the thing. You may now wander freely about the convention floor without concern for your health. Gee, thanks. Think nothing of it. Follow <laughs> me. <laughs> Whoa. Since you have proven yourselves to be friends of the Yeti, I have brought you here to share in our biggest secret. These great totem poles have been gathered from across the world and passed down from generation to generation of Bigfoots. Like fruitcake. We believe they hold the answer to our ultimate salvation, but the secret of their purpose is a riddle we've been unable to fathom. Sounds heavy. Like fruitcake. It's real heavy. Bruno. Like fruitcake. Like fruitcake. Why aren't you at the party? Who can party while their world comes to an end? Most of your mange-ridden brethren, apparently. Uh, I told you it was a bad idea to spike the punch. I thought it would loosen up everyone's imagination. No wonder we're facing extinction. Okay, guys, here's the situation. The big um, way of Bruno life just is actually killed going everybody. down the tubes. These totem poles might be able to save us, but A, we don't know what they mean. 
be. Most of us have been partying too much to figure out what they mean. And see, we Bigfoots have a hard time operating in public, if you know what I mean. We wouldn't normally be asking for help, but we're desperate. Well, that's how we get most of our gigs, so why not? Great. Why don't you three get cracking on the totem poles? I'm going to the hot tub. Wow. Thanks. Hey, Bruno. Okay, Sam. He's here. We're here. Let's go. Wait. Go where? Back to the carnival so we can get paid, you big lummox. I may be slow, but I am not stupid. I am staying right here. Psst, Max. What? Maybe we should wait a while before returning Bruno to his well-meaning yet horribly twisted owners. Why? Because I have a sick, gnarled premonition that something important is going to happen to the Bigfoots. And it would be nice if Bruno were here to see it before we slapped him back in a block of ice. You're getting soft, Sam. <laughs> We've decided to let you roam free until the end of the convention. Gee, thanks. Is there anything I can do for you in return? Um... Wow, this is a lot of stuff going on here. Okay. So what do you think about all this? I'm just happy to be here, Sam. Happy to be at room temperature and happy to be free at last. Born free, as free as the wind blows. Max. What? What were you saying, Bruno? Hmm. I lost my thought. Darn. How'd you and Trixie meet anyway? We didn't really meet until she thawed me out. But I've loved her ever since that first night she snuck into the freak tent and sang me to sleep with a Scrantonese lullaby. <laughs> and you want to put him back in a block of ice? Yeah! So? I give up. Well, now that Conroy's out of your hair, what are you going to do? Try brushing it, maybe? Well, I've still got the Cushmans to worry about, so I guess I'm... Still a little tense. Bushmans. What do you make of that totem pole on the far left? Let me take a look. Hmm. I don't know. Well? It's a totem pole. And? It's made of wood. Mm -hmm. It's not too late to take him back to the carnival, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Any keen Bigfoot insights into the totem pole with a tooth on it? I've been staring at that one for hours, and... Yes? I think it has something to do with teeth. Oh. Okay. I'm not holding my breath, but do you have any clue who the guy in the third totem pole is? No. Nope. Wizard. He sure seems to get along with vegetables, though. Sam, He's the guy in that bit. pole's got a marshmallow. So? I want a marshmallow. Max, you are a marshmallow. See that totem pole? What about it? What do you think it means? Hmm. I've got it. What did you tell them? I told them to start looking for bald guys with spaghetti on their heads. I still can't figure out how a wittier Bane Bigfoot like yourself fell into the clutches of the Cushmans. It's a familiar story. Bigfoot meets fish. Bigfoot tries to catch fish. Bigfoot falls into Arctic ice flow. That's a classic, all right. Didn't I hear something about a hot tub around here? Later, little buddy. Right now, we've got things to figure out. But that hot tub really sounds like the place to be. Later. Be seeing you. Not if I see you first. Hmm. Let's try... I can't use these things together. Okay. Uh, a snow globe. Wait. I have no idea. Wait. Pillow. I can't use these things together. What if I give him these? Hey, 
Mr. Chief, we found something that might tie into your totem poles. Yeah? W what is it? Hair growth tonic. Very resourceful. We just like stealing pillows. Cool. Next. Um, tooth. Hey, Chiefy Poo. I think I figured out Chiefy one of those baffling totem poles. A genuine dinosaur tooth. I figured it might be something like that. Did he say genuine? Okay. Now I gotta figure out the other ones. I have no idea what an ice pick would be used for. Other than... Maybe using it on Conroy? I can't pick that up. No, really. I can't pick that up. Okay. So it looks like a wizard and like... Campfire. A patron saint of Bigfoots? A patron saint of Bigfoots? What is this? Some kind of tornado? No. Uh... Well, this looks like a hand on a leaf, but... I can't really make out that one. This one kind of looks like the bent wrench. You know, this one. But... I don't know, man. I just work here. Okay. Well, that's a good idea. Thanks. Um, let's go ahead and I guess we'll leave, come back, and um, we're gonna go to the uh, large ball of yarn or whatever. What, what are you doing? You gotta leave. There you go. Hi. He has the rasp now. Okay. Large ball of twine. Take a leg, Max. Hello there. Could you bend this? Sure. Let's see it. Hmm. How's that? Great. Hmm. It's a nice pick that's been horribly twisted. Wait. I can't use these things together. I can't pick that up. Well, it was worth a shot. Boom, 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 boom,
Shake a leg, Max. Alright. Uh... This place? There's a wine bottle. Since when did I have a wine bottle? Where do I even get a wine bottle from? Hello? Control. Control F. Wine. Wait, so Savage Jungle Inn. The Bigfoot will let you pass. So there is a wine bottle that you could pick up, and it didn't let me pick it up earlier. Oh my gosh. Okay. Bro. All right, I guess we're walking all the way over here. Shut up. I wouldn't have known. I I would have fucking not even. I mean, I probably would have eventually, but no. I would have not even guessed to to go get a wine bottle from the. the uh, here before and it didn't do anything so that seems to have gotten the cork off shall we raise a toast to nuclear disarmament with this poison don't be silly that seems to have capped the snow globe it's an empty snow globe with a cork stopper and now we have to go over here into here no go go into there so now, we close out of this. 
We go to the mystery vortex. Enter the vortex. Go to the far right. Use the ice pick on the wine bottle. Remove the cork from the inventory. Use the cork on the snow globe. Use the mini vortex and the mini vortex. Use the empty snow globe. Leave the room. Okay. Not, and then we have a snow globe. Apparently. Okay. Snow globe. Go. Video game logic, or I guess cartoon logic, if you think about it. That might be a good idea, but perhaps I should wait until the vortex is running. Can we try the vortex? Step right in. In. Snow globe actually sucked in the pseudo mystical energies of the mystery vortex. I was hoping something like that would happen. All right, now leave. Here's my theory. You mentioned vortex. Looks like a tornado. I don't know what else I, I'd be doing, but. Now we got the funny... whatever you call it. Okay. Wow. Oh yeah, I need to go get the... the gourd. Yeah, I forgot, I have to go get the gourd. Let me go and see... if the gourd's finished yet. heap of eggplants shaped like Conroy Bumpus' head. Where's my John Muir vegetable? Thanks. Here you go, son. A zucchini squash that looks just like John Muir. Gee, thanks, ma'am. Alright. Thanks. Bye. We got everything. Right. Next, cut it out. This way. Nothing back there. I didn't even want to go this way anyways. I'm really going to here. All right. Well, I'm gonna go back here. This way. Let's give him the zucchini. 
looks like this guy's face. I believe we've deduced the secret of one of your totem poles. Hit me. Hit me. Combination of man and nature. Inventive. Is it soup yet? Is it soup yet? Alright. One more. The snow globe. Here you go, buddy. I think I figured out one of the totem poles. Let me see. Handheld vortex. Good thinking. Thinking had nothing to do with it. Well, that should do it, right? Nothing's happening, Sam. What's the story, Pops? Oh, I don't know. I'm sure you got the ingredients right, but... Of course. How silly of me. What? Don't jump in. In order for the spell to work, we need a living Bigfoot sacrifice. And it'd be a shame to lose one of these furry fellas, don't you think? Wait, I've got an idea, and it doesn't require high explosives. Wait here. Could it possibly While be he's gone, Conroy? I'll go see if any of the Bigfoots wants to off themselves for the greater good. Perfect. Yay. I like how there's two of them hiding behind the, the fence thing area over there to the left. was one heck of an impressive display. And actually highly destructive to boot. Goodbye, Sam and Max. I'm not sure how I can ever thank you, so I guess I won't. Oh, okay. Will you and Trixie be heading back into the forest to live an idyllic nature-oriented existence together? Hell no. We're going to Vegas to get hitched. If it hasn't been trashed by all this crazy redwood nonsense. We want to be in a place where we can sort of blend in. Live our lives. Maybe even raise a family. Ew. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, you nutsy primitive man-beast, you. You boys should be proud of what you've helped us achieve here today. You mean the wholesale destruction of the symbols of modern civilization in the western United States? You bet we are. <laughs> Do we get a prize? Well, oh, why not? This medallion has been a part of my family for untold generations. Wear it in good health. All right, it's time to pawn it off, Max. Thanks, Chief. Max loves cheap sentiment. <laughs> it's a chocolate. Mmm, -mm. boiled covered chocolatey goodness. What's wrong, Sam? I don't think the wizard has anything in that bag for me. Well, I could give you my ritual headdress that I bought at Snucky's last week. Oh, cool. <laughs> I appreciate the gesture, but I've already got a hat. Well, that's fine, too. Farewell, Sam and Max. Remember, though the night be dark, the dawn yet shall awaken and annoy you. Have a nice day. Thanks. I'll miss that old rascal. 
I'll miss the way he smelled like a bag full of damp hamster shavings. Just like Grandpa. Hey, we forgot to get paid. Don't worry, little buddy. I've got it all covered. I hope you're happy. With those idiots on the case, we'll probably never see Bruno again. Oh, lighten up, Burl. Hey, they're back. Did you find Bruno? Of course. Bruno! How can we ever repay you? The blank looks on your faces are the only reward we need. <laughs> that and a big fat check. Would you settle for 3,000 skee-ball tickets? Close enough. Let's go, Max. Yay! 3,000 skee-ball tickets! You know, Max, we I can't it. help thinking that we've foolishly tampered with the fragile inner mechanisms of this little spaceship we call Earth. Gosh, Sam, if a few hundred years of civilization have to be total just to ensure that a bunch of smelly quasi-human creatures have a safe haven for their disgusting lifestyles, then so be it! <laughs> you crack me up, little buddy. Burl, did Bruno always have four arms? Probably. Oh, shit. I just like shooting the gun. Ah, uh, you. References. Get out of here. Who cares about other LucasArts games? This is the best one. Wait, you, Bubsy. <laughs> Bubsy 3D. What is he doing here? I have to wait until it gets to you, Max. There you go. Equal opportunity to get kills. Got him. Bazongus. Bazongus, Bazongus. Bazongus, Bazongus. Salmon Max Magnets. Wait, what? Lucas Arts Entertainment Director of Business Operations. down the street and George Lucas, I guess. You can stop now. What? Wait. No, I want to keep going. Hold on. It's over. Let me keep shooting them. Leaving. No, 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 wait. Stay. Keep staying. Stay. Just say random stuff. No, wait. Okay, so we lied. Okay, good. We want you to be stuck in this perpetual click these random things that are coming through.
forever. Where was the... I'm a little bit upset. Because there's a... I missed a cut. I f think I missed like a mini game. Like. All right, I'm done. Okay, couple more. Okay. For real this time, I'll let it go through. Okay. I'm, I'm ready. Take me. Take. <laughs> I left, sorry. It's okay. You don't have to stay. <laughs> it's, it never ends. It never ends. Did you catch the guy? Y yeah. We caught him, I think. Well, the. Sh Maybe. Uh... Uh... I'm ready to leave! I wanna leave! How do I leave? There's no actual ending. It's over. I'm stuck here perpetually. Well, we beat the game. I give it a... I give this, uh... I give this game, uh... I give this game a 9 out of 10. Uh, needs more guns. Well, that's that. I missed the... the there was a mini game you could play. I know for a fact there was a mini game you could play. Where's the funny? I want the funny dress up mini game. There was there was a dress up mini game. Hold on. I missed it. Needs a remaster. Yeah. Just a little sad. There was a demo version of the game. But there was like a there's like a a, 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 dre a dress up like mini game you could play where you can dress up the characters. And I didn't even get to see that. I didn't even I guess it doesn't exist, or maybe it does. I don't know. Wait, what? Rotating restaurant. I think I had the same problem 25 years ago. Wait, what? Left and right clicking... The the lever. Oh, you're talking about that one. 